Hey guys, Nekunami here. Thanks for coming to my channel to check out this video. This is going to be a bullet journal setup for the month of February. I went a little gung-ho with this and I got super excited so I wanted to start really really early. Although I guess in terms of planner community stuff it's not very early at all. But as you can see I already have my monthly reflection page for January filled out a little bit. But let's just jump right into the February stuff. I started out with a bit of a cursive font and did like a fake calligraphy where I went in with my um, regular pen and just thickened all the downstrokes. Um, this is a really great way to fake calligraphy if you don't have a um, brushed pen or you're not like coordinated enough with a brush and paint in order to actually do calligraphy. I then went back and I thickened the rest of the lines a little bit in order to make it like kind of flow a little bit better. Then I added a little mini calendar. I really like the look of it when people do this on their front pages and it's not really practical, like I'm not gonna use it for anything, but it's just, it's really cute and I like it. You'll also notice that I'm one of the people who are, uses the letter, letter R for Thursday. And that's just because looking at all of like two T's, like back to back almost, confuses me and the two S's for Saturday and Sunday don't just cause like the weekend is one piece in my mind. As you can see, I'm doing a snowflake theme for February. Um, this is, as many many of you might be able to tell, that this is highly, highly, highly influenced by Amanda Rachley's December layout from 2017. I just, I really love the look of the snowflakes and I'm not the best at doodling them. As you can see, I make some pretty sloppy and wonky looking ones throughout this video, but I really tried like, oh, this one, for example, I don't know what I was going for. But it's fine. It's fine. It kind of worked out. Ooh, ooh, this one was a bit of a hot mess, but it actually turned out kind of okay. I liked, I kind of liked how it looked after I added those little circles, but besides that, ooh, this one was the one that was a mess. I eventually go back and cover it with a um, piece of paper. You might notice a bit of a jump between some of my things, and that's because I had to wait quite a bit for this pen to dry. It's not... It's just one of those regular uniball pens, so it's not actually like meant to be used for this kind of stuff, and it doesn't dry as quickly, and it smudges very quickly. So you'll see that there's a lot of smudges in my book. I also kind of pulled out the stitching of the top page, so after I finish all of my decorations, I go back in and I put a little piece of tape in there. Um, I think I went a bit overboard with the snow design over here, but I really, I like how it looks at the end. It definitely does look a bit busy, but it just, I don't know, I, it makes me feel like hooray winter. Oop, there's that tape, there it is. Um, later on, actually, it's not on video and it's, you don't actually see some of these changes because um, I made them this morning off of camera, but I went back in and I actually sharpened the like mint-ish colored pencil that I'm using and I went back and I like drew over the pieces that I had colored in a little sloppily and I drew over them a bit more neater. So this page here is my, um, it's my January monthly overview. I decided that I really, I don't know what I was thinking because last month I did a um, circles kind of theme and I decided that I was going to make every single month, like every single day in the calendar, a tiny circle and it was just it was such a pain and then the end result wasn't as neat as I wanted it to be and I was just like overall pretty disappointed with it so I took extra care this time to like make sure I lined up everything how I liked it um I really like how the snow looks on top of the actual calendar itself I think it's just really cute and like charming and whimsical and wintry um this is about when my pen starts dying a little bit it's because I in between takes I just left it uncapped on the table and that's not a very good thing to do. So I can't actually tell if it's out of ink or if it's drying out, but I should probably get a new pen very, very soon. Um, on the left of the calendar, I have a little social media tracker. I added a drop shadow to that as well. And I eventually go back and add a drop shadow to all of my boxes because of Amanda, Rachel, I queen of drop shadows and I'm quickly following in those footsteps because I just, I love how they look. Um, I had originally planned to have the little numbers for each day on the left 
corner of the boxes, but I switch it to the right while I'm adding it in. And I also go back and I thicken all of these as fake calligraphy. I was considering using different types of font this month, but then I just, as I was setting things up, I was just like, cursive, 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 hooray. And I just ended up not actually doing anything different, which is fine. I mean, I like how it looks, so it works out okay. Um, I don't know why I took such a long time to do this. I think I was getting distracted. I was watching um, one of my friends on Twitch at this point and helping her stream. So I think this might have been around when we got a bunch of troll, a couple of trolls in the chat room who were just being rude to her. So oop, there you could see another mistake that I made. I'll eventually go back in and cover that up with paper, but I still haven't done it yet. Um, I thought there was a 29th this year, or rather I hoped because that would mean we got a new precedent, but it's fine. This will be fine. Um, so I added in February here. Um, this is kind of where my hand starts to cramp a bit. So instead of, I was going to originally do fake calligraphy for the let it snow and for the February date that I added, but I ended up actually just going back over it with my silver pen. That's like really thick and I just, I like the look, but you can kind of see the black pen through it. So I'm not like super a fan. There we go. Another drop shadow coming through. I don't always add them right away but if I mess up the lines on the outside of something I'll add them immediately just to like make my job a little bit easier I think this is where I got distracted by twitch again come back Nami what are you doing girl oh there you are okay all right so I'm back to the snowflakes again like I said uh some of them are hella derpy but nope I put my pen down it's over guys this is the end of the video nope JK I'm back yeah no this one I don't know what I was doing I think I was trying to do like a star inside the snowflake but then I got angles wrong so it just ended up being a circle in the middle and then I just kind of looked at it and was like this is fine this is fine this one I when I did it I was like oh yeah this is great but then I realized that you should technically be able to see the other side of that as well so I later add that in and then I try to immediately cover color over it with color pencil which obviously doesn't quite work out as it should you guys probably know this don't don't color over your pens immediately or put the color down before or whatever because otherwise it's gonna bleed but hey common sense escapes me i went back in with my little pencil and i added um the mint to the snow i know snow isn't actually mint color but i just i really like the color and it looks so pretty and charming oh there we go this is where it smudges i think i moved it away from the screen super fast so you wouldn't have to stare at my shame um but yeah so that mint color pencil is my accent color for this month, I really like it. Um, it's less harsh de than the light blue that I used for January, which sounds kind of funny because describing light blue as harsh in any fashion doesn't really make sense. But you'll see later, I use the light blue to accent the end of February because that's what my first week is. It's the last few days, sorry, the end of January. So the last few days of January and the beginning of the February week. But that's the first week I set up, so I kind of go in there with that blue again. And you'll notice that it's actually a surprisingly dark light blue, especially because I am pretty ham-fisted with my color pencils and I try to color light and then I'm just like, no, more color, more color. And I go a little bit crazy. I actually come back in later and I, um, oh, that's the back of the rip page. So I fixed that up as well. Good call, Nami. But yeah, so I went, go back in later and I, um, color the alternating lines inside my boxes with the um with the color pencil as well it just gives it like a cute little it's an extra touch without being super busy and i really like how it looks you'll actually see me do that later on for my gratitude page um that's actually the page that i did it to first and then after i finished filming this i was like oh i really like that look and i kind of went a little overboard and added it to every page where i had a box meant for filling stuff in which might be a bit much, but it's probably fine. Um, here I went back with my silver pen and I just added some dots and pretty things in like silver accents to the snow. Um, I filled out my um, expense tracker here before I filled out my mood tracker because I really didn't want to draw all those lines and I wanted to check if my pen was still dying, which um, it kind of was, but it was getting better because I was putting the cap on it again by this point. I went back to the little pile of snow over my uh, mood board and then a little drop shadow underneath it. I really like the look of this. It kind of looks like they're all wearing little hats or like one collective hat, like they're all hat friends and it's really cute and I like it. Um, I got a bit smarter with how I drew my lines and I didn't 
pull the ruler over already drawn lines so it really limited the smudging on this I still get a little bit of smudges because you know it's me and I'm not that coordinated but much better than what I've done in the past um over here I got a little confused because um one of the, the last line that I'd drawn was kind of not straight and I was really confused I was like how is this ruler not how is this ruler crooked and I'm like of course the ruler isn't crooked it's your original line that's crooked silly um right about here was when my um phone started freaking out at me because I'm recording all this on my iPhone and it was like you have no more memory so I had to go back through and like delete all the old videos and upload them and all that jazz but then I come back in strong with more uh derpy snowflakes I eventually go back in later as in this morning I went back in with um the color pencil as well and I added a few more snow like snowflakes and just color pencil across the actual empty space of the mood tracker I thought it looked a bit bare over there and then I went back in with a pen because it was getting some of its juice back to rewrite the actual habits um the habits by the way nails includes any form of nail care which usually for me means nail oil and filing and fixing up my polish teeth um includes both brushing and flossing brushing primarily to remind me to brush at night as well no spend is pretty self-explanatory it's not stuff it's not stuff like food or things like that but it's more like unnecessary eating out and so on and so forth um next up is meds so i want to make sure that i take my depression meds my birth control and all my vitamins invisalign because i have invisalign but i'm really terrible at using it and skincare moisturizing and taking care of my eczema and making sure i bujo every day or not even every day i just want to see how much i actually bujo since it's my second month of keeping up with it um this page you can see is my closet tracker i'm trying to figure out what clothes i actually wear because i have a lot of clothes and i've like increased in the sizes as well and so i'm not super sure what i actually use or not i started this in the middle of january and it's really helpful to see what i wear and what outfits i like for when i'm going out um this page is my gratitude page i wrote find the silver lining on the top to remind me that even if a day isn't overall happy there can still be good and happy smaller things that happen in it and then i wrote happiness runs in circular motion happiness runs happiness runs from that song that you might have heard um I also didn't talk about the page before this because um, it was already filled out. That was actually my um, time tracker, uh, like what Cindy of Llama's Love Lettering does. Um, I just made mine a lot smaller because I realized that I couldn't fit it in for every week. And then I also ended up adding the end of January to it already, which is why it was already filled out. Um, I had set up these pages in my notebook with pencil and then I realized that I didn't have enough space for the last week of January's um time trackers and I was like you know what I'll just cram it all into one page I ain't nobody got time to replan these pages again I I was not about that life here I go back in with that fake calligraphy look again and um this is where I find out that I remember that I realized that I left my silver pen just uncapped which was real smart I ended up recovering it a bit by just dipping it in my glass of water which I proceeded to not drink just in case because you know don't eat pens not good for you probably um, but yeah, so this is what I mean when I talk about the alternating lines filled in. So I ended up doing this to actually a lot of pages. I really liked how it looked. Um, it's a bit annoying to do, and since it's color pencil, it does take a little bit of time to get the color even, but it, the look is really pretty, and I really like it. I also go back over this page later. Um, I went back over it this morning to fix up the calligraphy and make it a little neater because I was really uncoordinated with how my camera was positioned. I'm not used to having to draw around a camera and I had it I had the camera so it was like between me and my book which was making it really left for me rough for me these are pages that I kind of already set up a bit I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do the headers and I was like washi tape so I just threw down the washi already I go back in and I add those snowflakes and I later went on and made them look fancier this is the brain dump page I really like how this turned out I Went back in this morning and I made the brain dump actually be calligraphy style as well and I cleaned up the um, the leftover pencil a little nicer and I also went back in and colored it a bit more smoothly with my color pencil but I actually really like how the snowflakes turned out on this page for the most part. That one up there was kind of derpy but I don't know what I was doing with the triangles and like reversing the directions. Not quite sure what happened there but it turned out okay overall that one. I, I like how I scattered the snowflakes. I just, I really like the look on it. And, oop, I added another one, not completely derpy. Um, 
And so this here is my first week of January. I actually was inspired for this one by a really cute, or sorry, first week of February and the last couple days of January. I was inspired by a really cute um, spread that I found on Instagram. It was actually mostly um, washi tape defined, which is why it's not quite defined yet. I'm going to throw in more washi designs and stuff after I get to the week itself and end up filling it out more. But as of right now, um, this week's responsibilities just depend on what ends up happening currently. So like depending on how many of my sewing jobs I get done this week can or cannot change. Um, you'll notice that I labeled Wednesday the 30th as well, which is very incorrect. Um, and this is that original blue I was talking about. Um, these smudged heavily when I went over them with pencil for obvious reasons. So this morning I went back in and aggressively colored them over and aggressively erased them. It kind of erased the smudging a bit, which was really, really good. Um, I do like how it looked in the end. I kind of went back and I cleaned it up a little bit more to make it look nicer. But here is the final flip through of all of my pages. I hope you enjoyed this look into my bullet journal. And I hope you guys are also inspired to do your own and also I hope this shows you that you know you might make dumb mistakes but it's totally okay happy journaling guys I hope you have a great great February and thank you for tuning in bye please subscribe and like up this video if you enjoyed it thank you so much